What is going on guys, it's Squid here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a automatic harvesting crop machine. And uh, yeah, this is it working in action, so I'm just going to show you it before I make it, just in case you don't want to make it or anything. So yeah, you pull this lever here, and uh, all the water comes rushing down, and it collects in this bottom trough kind of thing. And you pick all your goodies up, all your crops up. And when you've done, you just flip the lever back and the water stops. That's how that works. So, right, let's get to it then. So, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to build the mainframe for the machine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a 1 by 3. So, that's one block by 3 wide. And then off end block, we're going to go diagonally like that. And then we jump down and we're going to go from that block, we're going to go 9 more. So all together it'll be 10 in a straight line. So that's on that side. And do the same on the other side. So that's 10. And then we want to make it too high. So just do another layer. But leave one block spare. Like that. So you leave the trough bit. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, now uh, now that's done, we're gonna make the back. Now we're gonna for the back, as you can see there, we're gonna come out another one block. So one block each side, and it needs to be three. So go to the third block in, so from there, and build it too high. So it's going to be three wide and five across, like that. And then build another layer on, so that's three. And you want to do this all the way around. And you jump down and do this bit. But that bit only needs to be two, because the water's going to go in there. So then, what we're going to do is now we're going to put the top on. So we're going to make like a little diamond shape sort of thing. So we put one there, one at the other end, and three at each side. So it makes that kind of shape, like an O shape, not a diamond. So that's that bit done. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put a... The water's going to yeah, water's gonna go in there, and then this bit we're going to put a piece of cobblestone on this square here. Now we put one on here so we can rest the piston on top. So put a square down in the middle, jump down, mine two cobblestone straight down and put the piston on underneath that bit sorry like that and then you can jump up back up here and just mine this cobblestone what we just put down because it looks crap and then that's that bit done and then we're going to fill this with mud for the crops like so so you put all your crops on there and they'll start growing and then what we're going to do now is we're going to put some redstone on to power pressure plate so you want to build little stairs going up like that and then go from this block here all the way down make it come round to wherever you're gonna position your lever um, now we do need a redstone torch because we're going to give up so we'll nick this one now the thing is redstone torches you need to make sure you put it in the right way um, otherwise it won't power it it'll just cut the power off so if it doesn't work one way, try the other. And then what you're going to do is you put your lever down here, and this will charge the redstone like it has done. You can see that redstone repeat is the wrong way around, so just flick it around the right way, like that. See the power has gone down, and the piston has pushed down to the bottom. Now this will hold the water now, so you put it in the middle square behind it, like that one, the top one. It will hold the water. When you put all your crops down, and you want to harvest them, you flip the lever, a presto, the water comes down, and the crops will come to the bottom. So, you flick it again, and the water stops. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps. See you later, man.